एवरीवन वेलकम टू द चैनल नॉलेज स्टार कॉन्टिन्यूस नॉलेज एक्सीलेंस माय नेम इज निशा मसरूर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल गेट टू नो अबाउट ट्रियाज सो विदाउट मच अडू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड ट्रियाज इज द सॉर्टिंग ऑफ पेशेंट्स बाय प्रायोरिटी फॉर ट्रीटमेंट इवैक्यूएशन और ट्रांसपोर्ट प्राइमरी ट्रियाज इज कैरीड आउट इन द ब्रॉन्स एरिया एंड पेशेंट्स आर यूजुअली रीट्रियाज्ड सेकेंडरी ट्रियाज एट द कैजुअलिटी क्लियरिंग स्टेशन triage for transport will be carried out before patients leave the site in order to ensure the most appropriate distribution of casualties to receiving units now dr deena shah who is the director of emergency medical services delhi ncr fortis hospital limited will explain to you in detail about this topic so to get complete information about triage watch full video without skip anyone does the triage in their life hands up please okay people who has not put the hands up i'll give you you do triage too you got a husband wants to go for a movie or cricket the wife wants to go and see the movie and the son wants to go in the park playing that's where you do the triage you pick and choose whatever is important for you okay everyone does the triage in their daily life and when we part that concept into the hospital setting or healthcare provider setting it becomes the prioritization of the care which we give in the hospital so triage happens at the emergency triage happens in icu triage happens anywhere everywhere in the pre hospital setting as well why we need to triage because we want to figure out the person not only the person who is shouting the person who is not speaking as well is going to be more dangerous than the person who is shouting so that's why generally in our culture people think that they can get away with that stuff by putting that words louder so they do that and then everybody's attention goes on that person and you miss the person who is not speaking and lying there quietly holding the chest and few minutes later when you finish with that person you see that that person is no more he is arrested that's why you have to do the triage so defining the triage it's a word coming from the trier meaning to sort it's a french word and that means it's a process to get the right patient at the right place at right time with the right healthcare provider wait 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 are you worried about your project training dissertation internship Don't think too much because Nano Science and Technology Consortium, in short NSTC, is giving you a golden opportunity to do the same tasks. NSTC also conducts workshop on amazing topics. So if you want to register in the workshop, the registration link is given in the description box below, or you may go to the website www.nanoschool.in where you can easily enroll in the workshops. So just check it out right now. Okay, so whenever you see the sick patient, you identify them, act on them, as I said, and then call the right healthcare provider who can deal with it. If you are managing hyperkalemia, crashing patient, you manage hyperkalemia, but call nephrology so they can take them to the dialysis unit, and final treatment can happen for the patient. These are the few triage category now this belongs to the pre hospital or disaster triage but you can implement it wherever you are uh, red category means the doctor is needed right now the expert is needed right now the yellow meaning they can wait for a few minutes and if you deal with them correctly they can respond they can walk back home green means they are walking wounded they don't need much attention they can be seen they can wait for you to get free from whatever you are doing and black means ceased So triage is an assessment, reassessment, and then dispose the patient, go back to the next patient. How we will do triage? It's a start protocol, which happens in the field in the disaster training. Um, so if we implement it in the wards, it can still work. Okay, it's RPM methodology. So if if you are in the emergency or on the field, then you see multiple accident sites. you're driving somewhere you see many patients lying everywhere how will you know that ambulance is standing which patient i should send because people can say i know these i want to go in this ambulance 
okay that's where your role comes in so you assess if person can walk you can park them in somebody's heavy mercedes car maybe and tell them that sir please take this person he's a vip to the hospital very quickly park the sick person on the ambulance who get treated so person who is walking yes or no then you check respiration he's breathing if he's not breathing open his airway and check he's still breathing or not if he's not breathing then he's dead in mass casualties you can declare them dead because you got to deal with many patient and then you check for the pulse a uh, respiratory rate if it is there then it is more than 30 or less than 30 if it is more than 30 give them red tag if it is less than 30 then proceed to step 3 which is circulation check on the pulse after checking respiration you check on the pulse remember a b c d and then red absent pulse lot of bleeding feeble pulse you give them red so somebody can attend it and then if pulse is present and normal you proceed to step four for mentation d portion of your assessment and you can give them red and allow according to their response to your simple commands very important for all healthcare provider nowadays is to identify contaminated patient be, be it a radiation be it a chemical hazards or anything because we are heading towards nuclear war zones we don't know when and how it is going to happen we have seen many disasters as well so you have to remember the code tagging them blue and people do use them double tagging to tag them blue which is contaminated people who ever touch them has to take the precaution before touching them and then you do your start triage identifying them again as a red uh, yellow and green so remember your rpm respiration pulse and mentation and there are various methods of tagging you can use this simple tagging method which you can turn as you go through from below it's a perforated sheets you can keep it with you or if there is a mass casualty and disaster you can use the ribbon if it is a bigger strength incident then you can use the sheets red green and yellow or you can flag the area red green and yellow if it is a bigger casualty people in afghanistan and all who deals with these daily they have got a tents outside the hospital colored tents so whosoever bring the red patient because the triage happens in the field so red patient gets parked in the red tent yellow patient in the yellow tent and that's how the hospital respond to that patients so whichever uh, variety or um, intensity of incident you are dealing with you can do the triage like that and that's how you can uh, move them from the field to the hospital i hope you like the video if you want to see these type of videos please do comment we will definitely reach out to you thank you for more updates subscribe to our channel click the links shown on the screen to stay connected